Welcome to Game Gorgon, my name is Andy Gorgon. I'm Crew. And today we're going to be talking about the Battle for Asphalt. We're going to be talking about the most expensive update for any game ever. And uh, really, we're just talking about the pre-order and what you can get with it if yeah. you decide to actually get into it, mm -hmm. both the Standard Edition and the Deluxe Edition. Woo! For those of you who aren't super hardcore gamers and might have a little bit of trouble keeping up with this conversation about World of Warcraft, I'm just going to take a little bit of time to educate you on what World of Warcraft is. World of Warcraft is a... Uh, massively multiplayer online game, which is usually abbreviated as MMORP. <laughs> Battle for Azeroth's pre-release is coming in two flavors. The first is the standard edition, which is gonna run you $49.99. It's gonna give you access to a bunch of things, the first of which are some new races. Yeah, it's going to be the allied races. So there are currently races within World of Warcraft and it's going to be just new flavor and new backgrounds and different kind of story for mm -hmm. these characters. For the Horde, More than the Horde, we're going to get the High Mountain Torrent, which are basically Torrent characters, but with big old moose horns. <laughs> also, Mayor Das Moose, I miss you. Um, <laughs> Me too, actually. And then we're also going to be getting the Nightborn for the Horde, which is a purpley, bluish elf character, basically. I mean, it's... Those are going to be the ones that we have access to right now if you pre-order it. We do know that for the Horde that we're going to be also getting the Zandorari Trolls. Fun fact, they're themed after uh, Jeff Kaplan himself. Like, the troll model is themed after his face because... The two races that we're going to have access to for the Alliance... FOR THE ALLIANCE! So right off the bat, we're going to be the Lightforge Draenei and the Void Elves. And then the one that we're going to get on release. Well, we actually don't know when we're going to get it. We yeah. actually don't know Maybe if it's going to release. be if it's going to be on release or if it's going to be like another kind of update between now and yeah. then. Uh, kind of like how they're giving us early access. Maybe it might be another push to get people to pre-order. Sure. I, I honestly wouldn't doubt that. Maybe they're just holding it in reserves and waiting to see what the numbers are because, mm -hmm. you know, I doubt they're not finished. It's going to be the Dark Iron Dwarfs. That's what the last one is. Not only are we going to be getting allied races, but once the release actually comes out, you will be getting access to two new kingdoms, one for the Horde and one for the Alliance. We're also going to be able to go across the the, the Great Sea and be able to do the really interesting kind of cool, like pre-generated, procedurally generated mm -hmm. islands that will have like different enemies and different bosses yeah, that, and difficult. That was like the main focus of their uh, their teaser video. Yeah, during it? It BlizzCon, those, those yeah. Those pre-generated. I'm really excited for that. I think the thing that WoW needs the most is replayability, and I think that's a great way of getting it, especially if they keep adding elements to it over time. We'll see how they approach that. Yeah. Also with the standard edition, the last thing you'll be getting is a brand new 110 Boom. character boost. Nice. So uh, you won't have to run all the way through if you want to get a new, you know, void elf and you don't want to run through the whole game. You unlock the void elves and then you turn around and can use your boost to get them all the way up and have a brand new mage. There's also a deluxe edition that we haven't even touched on. Speaking of paywall, how's it? <laughs> so it's going from $49.99 for the standard all the way up to $69.99 for the deluxe edition. Nice. Yeah. You're going to get all of the previous content we've talked about mm -hmm. and then you're going to be getting goodies for not only World of Warcraft, where you're going to get a mount. A traditional smorgasbord of offerings for the rest of Blizzard's titles. Yeah, you're The only reason they have more than one is so they can cross promote them. Yeah, so you're going to be getting uh, new sprays mm -hmm. in both Hearthstone, I'm sorry, not Hearthstone. <laughs> can you just imagine that, please? It's like, shh, shh. You know what, I would get one that would say, hurry the f up. <laughs> you're gonna be getting a mount in World of Warcraft, but you're also going to be getting sprays in Overwatch. You're going to be getting a Hearthstone card back. Yeah. You're going to be getting a mount in Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. You're going to get some emotes and some uh, all, just like every game that Blizzard has, except for Diablo. Except for Diablo. Can't cross promote the ostracized one. Apparently. Are you a WoW fan? Are you still sub to WoW? Uh, if you're still sub to WoW, hit the like button. If you're not sub to WoW, also hit the like button. Uh, leave us a comment letting us know uh, if you're going to buy this expansion, you're getting the standard edition or you're getting the deluxe edition. If you're getting the deluxe edition, send me $20 instead. By the standard edition, you're not missing out on much and I'd really appreciate it. 
While you're doing that, hit the like button on the video, like I already said to do. Hit the subscribe button to help us grow as a community and uh, hit the notification bell to get notified whenever we're talking about overpriced expansions again. I'm Kruger. I don't think it's over, I don't think it's overcharged. Okay, you geezer. Stop talking about that. <laughs> uh, you can reach me on Twitter and tell me why you think this is a great price for this expansion at IndigoQT. And you can tell this guy why he's bad at at Krug, you threw me off by saying, Sorry. <laughs> you threw me off by saying the at, because I always say at, and so I was just like, at, at Krug QT? At, at? At Krug QT on Twitter. You can also get both of us at underscore Q times. We've been Game Gorgon. We'll see you all. I don't remember when this episode's coming out. Monday. Monday. Monday.